What's going on, everybody? Nick Hamilton here at Bank of California Stadium. Thanks to tight defense and a brand new renewed mindset, the LAFC have defeated the LA Galaxy 5-3 and now move on to face the Seattle Sounders on Tuesday here at Bank of California Stadium and are one step closer to their season goal of capturing an MLS Cup for the first time in franchise history. Not only did they defeat the LA Galaxy for the first time, but also sent them packing. We had a chance to speak with Bob Bradley, head coach of LAFC, along with Carlos Vela and Tristan Blackman. So make sure you stay tuned. You don't want to miss what they have to say. And oh yeah, make sure you follow me on all things social media at Nick Hamilton LA. It's a party, y'all. You know what it is. Stay tuned. Um, the right pressing moments. Um, because you know, they in so many situations, they just put the ball up towards Lotton. And as we step up the press, they play off of second balls. And, you know, we love to play high up the field. We love to step up. We love to press. But we had to try to find a balance and all that today. Uh, I think early in the game, the balance probably wasn't very good because we, we, we probably allowed them a little too much. But the flip side is that we were able to hurt them in transition, so uh, when we let them back in the game at halftime, there's a real discussion about whether or not we need to, right from the start of the second half, start to step up a little bit more and start to push the game a little bit more. Uh, the players felt that that we could still continue, um, but then when it got to two two with the subs, we really wanted at that point to see if we could push higher, step up, and we did a very good job of that. That's the way we play, um, basically 99% uh, of the time. Man, that was a big night for us, but in playoffs, it's not a matter of what team you are, doing, you are playing against. You have to win two more games. You have to prepare our team to, to be ready, to be focused in our target, and that's the way that we are working, that's the way the philosophy is to have it. And we focus on that, we focus in ourselves, and that's the way to be a, a good team, as a matter of the, the rest. I mean, I want to win the MLS, so my man, in my mind was like, one step, we do a one step more, and all all the work we, we did, the hard runs, performance of all the team, it's like a big moment. Like I say, it was a big moment for us. We work for that kind of, of games. And who want more? We want more. And it's the good team because the team wants to win, want to be the best team, the best season in the history. So if we win the championship, if the, if the target is our maximum aspiration, so we have to work on that. We have to be ready. We forget about this game, and we have to prepare the next. Get involved in it, but yeah, indeed, I mean, what was he doing upstairs? Good question. Drinking coffee with Magic Johnson. Good question. <laughs> exactly. But how, how does that impact just uh, how the game goes on from there? That certainly plays a role in it. It's difficult because if you have the VAR, it, it, it means that uh, the game is extra controlled by the not a fourth by fifth referee upstairs. But yeah, if he's drinking coffee with Magic Johnson, then it's difficult to 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 play the game because he has to be in control. He didn't even go out and check. And he said that he needed a signal from the VAR people to go out and check. So what is, what is the VAR people doing? But yeah, I don't want to complain about that, guys. We just lost and uh, I don't want to be a loser complaining about the ref because he's not.